Hi, I'm Rabbi Abe, Consciousness Coach. You know, when something bad happens to us, usually the way we feel afterwards is unmotivated. It's like getting punched in the stomach, you know. Uh, we lose our motivation for things. We can become depressed, lose our creativity, lose our inspiration for things. Not productive. In this video, I'm going to share a powerful Kabbalistic secret and tool that will not only help us turn it around, but help it work for us, because that's what it was meant to do. Stay tuned, and I will see you in the video. Be blessed. Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to the video. So we're going to talk about the principle of desire. In general, uh, what Kabbalah explains is that every fulfillment must have a desire. Okay? In other words, if we look at desire as the thing that holds fulfillment, which we call the light, creator's light, Endless fulfillment, which is the creator's light in all the individual parts, fulfillment from a relationship, fulfillment from uh, peace and security, fulfillment from feeling free, fulfillment from hell, fulfillment, whatever, whatever the fulfillment is, we have different holders for that. Okay, we call them vessels. And those vessels that we have are not immobile. What I mean to say is they're not fixed. They tend to expand or contract depending on the situation. So what makes a vessel expand and want, what makes one contract to get smaller? And, and keep in mind, when one expands, it means I have now more capacity to receive more. And when it contracts, I have less capacity to receive. So, uh, I, I give you an example. G general, the general notion of working or working hard for something is only to create a place or a vessel for the fulfillment that I'm working towards to come in. Okay? So, if I'm working towards a certain financial gain, I'm willing to work hard. And again, not to say that there's not other things included in the financial, you know, part of that fulfillment, but I'm working towards that physical work, maybe it's mental work, emotional work, spiritual work, whatever the work is, whatever work is required. That work or effort sets up a situation where I now have, I'm building, through my work I'm building. I'm building the vessel, I'm building the place to hold or to house the uh, fulfillment, whatever, in whichever form it may come. Now, what causes loss? Well, uh, there are many things that can cause loss, okay? Uh, loss of opportunity to work or to earn, shift of consciousness, lack of appreciation, which is, again, a form of non-work or uh, canceling out, because when we lack appreciation, we, also, we can work hard, but we're also canceling at the same time. You know, sometimes we're, it's like digging, digging the hole here and filling it in with the other hand, you know. So uh, we have to be mindful. But, but what I'm speaking about today is the idea of, um, how when things seem to happen, seem to happen, which are bad, negative, how to avoid or not only avoid the loss, but to expand our capacity, expand our capacity. Now, it's very interesting. There's a word in Hebrew because I'm going to show it to you now. Word in Hebrew for desire. 
Desire in Hebrew is ritze, it's ratzon. But there's a word that the Kabbalists use for special meditation that comes from the word ratzon, desire, is ritze, ritze. Desire also means desire. What's unique about this word in Hebrew, the word ritze, it's three letters, desire. But if you reverse the three letters, you change the order of the same exact three letters, you get tsara. What does tsara mean? Troubles, problems, pain. Exactly the opposite. Now, it might not look like the opposite, but it is the opposite. Ritze, desire. Tsara, problems, troubles, troubles. Why is this? Why is this so? So again, if we look into the wisdom of the Kabbalah, the Kabbalah explains, look, everything in this world, in the physical world, has two parts. There's a plus, there's a minus. There's good, there's bad. There's light, there's dark. Now, we have to choose. We have a certain amount of free will in order to choose what we're getting. And you're saying, well, what do you mean choose? It's choosing me. Problems choose us. We don't choose to have problems. I don't know anybody who looks to have problems, right? Maybe not. But you know, and I've said it before, do you ever ask for more than you have now? Do you? Well, if you do, perhaps you didn't understand what you were asking for. Because more means I need to change vessels. What I have right now, I'm at capacity. Because if where we are is where we are, our vessel has whatever it can handle. More means I need to exchange vessels, so to speak. What does that look like? Well, let's say you're in a relationship. And, you know, some people play with their relationship and they say, well, I know I'm not exactly in the best relationship, but I'll, you know, until the right one comes along, I'll be busy with this one. And then when the right one comes along, I'll drop this. Does that work? Does that work? And the answer is no, that'll never work. Because the rule is you can't have the thing that's more right for you if you have the thing which is not exactly right for you. So when you want more of anything, more money, more whatever, you know, uh, those who go on like, to go on cleanses or into health, you know, things, you go on a cleanse, what's usually the first thing that happens? You go through a cleansing crisis, and you may feel sick. I mean, why Why does that happen? I mean, you, the things you're doing are maybe very healthy things. You know, if you put a lot of good nutrition in your body and you're not, eat, you're not used to eating nutritious, healthy food, initially, you're going to feel sick. You're going to feel bad. Why? Because you have to flush out the, the bad stuff. In this case, we're not talking about flushing the bad stuff out, but we're talking about replacing the less good for a higher level of good. So the mechanism, energetically, spiritually, is very similar. We have to undergo what is called a tzimtzum. A tzimtzum means we must undergo some level of losing, some level of chaos, some level of where, where, where did the light go? Things were good. Now things look bad. Or however that bad comes along. You know, sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, it's by design. Sometimes it's uh, because we sort of asked for it. And when it comes along, what happens? We react. And how do we usually react to a bad thing happening? 
in whichever way, by the way, by other people's circumstances, and uh, we're involved uh, by uh, direct circumstances, something happens in my business, or with a client, or, or with my job, or you know, person gets fired, whatever it is, bad things happen. So what's the nature of a person? How do you feel if you lose your job? You feel good now? You feel, oh, this is amazing. Now I can ask for more. Now I can have more. No. You get punched in the stomach. And that's what happens. You feel, oh, oh, I'm down now. I lost my job. I lost my sustenance. I lost my security. I lost. So what's the Kabbalistic consciousness? Remember, I'm a consciousness coach. I have to teach us how to think because when our mind is in the right place the physical world around us will follow because the 99 percent of the consciousness world is always in control of the one percent doesn't mean they're you know they are always connected they don't always look directly connected so there's a lag lag time sometimes not always between the two but Remember, they're always directly connected. So when the loss happens, the tendency and the nature of us is to lose. What do we lose? We didn't lose the job. We lose the desire as a result of thinking we lost the job. Big difference. Big difference. Again, we didn't lose the energy. We never lose energy. But can we throw it into a state of concealment? Yes. Absolutely we can, and we do. Why? Could we say, oh my God, this is terrible, I lost my job. And now what happens? The energy of job, job energy, which means the energy, the amount that I had, becomes now concealed. It doesn't go away, but it does become concealed. Why? Because in that moment, I'm in the process of losing my vessel. My vessel is losing ground. It's going down. What does that look like? I'm losing my desire. What does it mean when you're depressed? Depressed. No pressure. What does it mean if you're angry? Also, no pressure of growth. Or when you're angry... It's all, all negative emotions are all bound up together in the same principle of losing desire for the good. Because desire for bad, there's no bad. Bad is a lack of something else, right? Anger is a lack of happiness. So if you fell into anger, it means you fell into lack. Again, that's not more, that's less. And it's the same with every other negative emotion how should we respond and the answer it sounds easy i don't say it's easy but this is how we need to train our consciousness if we want to limit the time of loss time of loss limit the time of the loss state the appearance and that's why i say the appearance of loss how to remove the concealment on what I had, and how to bring more in, which is the reason why I lost to begin with. So if you were getting paid 50000 uh, uh, I wanted to say a week, maybe it should be a week, 50000 a year on your job, and you just got fired, what do you need to say? Oh, thank God. I lost this job that was only paying me $50,000 a year. Now I can have room in my desire, in my vessel, for 75000 And if it sounds realistic enough to you, again, you have to be able to believe in it. 100000 And meditate on that. No loss. I'm expanding myself. I'm expanding myself to be able to receive more. And this is how 
This is how the Kabbalist would use any form of loss in order to expand and to have more. Okay, so to help us integrate this, integrate this again, let me show you again the letters, these two letters, uh, uh, sorry, three letters of uh, tsara, troubles, and ratzon, desire. Because what's the object? Any troubles that we think or we feel we have, my desire is to transform it into more desire. Always transform troubles into desire. So let's just, well, let's do a little meditation, shall we? Okay, so now we're looking at those three letters. Let's close our eyes. Short meditation. Close our eyes, put our feet firmly on the ground. Uncross them. Take three deep breaths in and out. In and out. In and out. And now imagine any situation, any situation that you're in, maybe a relationship that was going really well at some point, maybe a job that was going really well and you loved your job at some point, even your health, maybe you were feeling good and healthy, now you're not feeling so well. So let's imagine ourselves in that scenario. Put yourself in that scenario. Now, continue to breathe normally in and out. Now imagine, again, you can take a quick look. Look at the three letters Tsara. Tzadik, Reish, Hey. Even you don't know what they are, just look at them. Troubles. Think of your troubles. Think of the difficulty. Think of the pain that you feel. Think of, if you're not feeling well, think of the feeling that you have. Not feeling well. Think of the pain. Think of the loss that you feel at losing whatever it is that you've lost, work, important client, opportunity, relationship, the love of someone who you cared about once. Feel the pain and don't be afraid to feel the pain because it's important to feel the pain because the pain will assist us in creating an imprint, an imprint in our consciousness where new light can now be. So meditate first on the pain, on the loss, feel it. If you can cry, cry. Experience it. Now, look at the second three letters. Ritze. Ritze means desire. Look at those three letters and try to imagine white light coming from those three letters into your head and filling your entire body. First the head, then your neck, your arms, your torso, all the organs of your body, your legs, your feet. And this light is the light of passion. This light is the light of desire intense desire, desire that you never felt before, desire to double, to triple, 
what you had. Desire to have the most amazing relationship or relationship that you wouldn't even be able to recognize with someone who you can't even imagine. Desire for work or job or clients that's going to provide for you more sustenance than you can ever dream of. Desire for health, to feel amazing, energized, passionate about life, happy, excited in a new way, a new exciting way that you never felt before. Ritze, the power of positive desire to be filled with the light of fulfillment in any way, shape, or form, all of it combined. That light is coming through you, within you. And the last step is to allow it to pass through you and share it with all of the people in your life. The energy of complete positive desire to fulfill every need, every positive desire. Because when all needs, all positive desires are fulfilled, there's no room for negativity. There's no need for anyone to look at what anyone else has. I'm going to count to three. The count of three. Slowly open your eyes. One. Two. Three. Be blessed, everyone. Go with desire. Go with passion. Be happy. And I'll see you in the next video. All the best.